humming to the rhythm of his own swing. I don't think anybody would have a bigger smile on their face than he would. Aaron Beverly finds peace on the golf course. Once it kind of set in that it was real, it was, you know, it was great. So I'm definitely excited for the opportunity to play. The Fairfield native received the news he's the latest Charlie Sifford Memorial exemption from Tiger Woods. It's the reason why I play golf. He's kind of the hero I always looked up to. So the first golf term I ever watched on TV was 97 Masters that he won. There it is, a win for the ages. And then the last term I ever watched with my dad was 2019 Masters he won. The return to glory. Not only does Aaron get to meet Tiger Woods, but he also gets to have dinner with him. My response? Are we talking about the same tiger? I said, don't, you know, I don't need you to get my hopes up. Following in the footsteps of the 2018 Sifford recipient and Sacramento zone, Cameron Champ. We played junior golf together. We've uh, played in a couple tournaments where we were roommates. I've always been a huge supporter of him and he's always been a supporter of me. And it is an extremely emotional one. Aaron first picked up a pair of clubs at the age three. Three years old, my dad gave me a little plastic uh, set and clubs and I would kind of swing in the house and then he would take me to, he was coaching football at Solano College at the time and, and he would take me to his practices and outside they had this practice field and I would just go take some balls and just hit over and over and over again. And while his dad was legendary Solano coach Ron Beverly, football was never an option. Instead, with the help of his mom, he blended golf with ballet. I was much better at ballet than I was at golf for a long time. Um, and that was kind of always her dream for me to you know, dance in New York or San Francisco. Finesse, flexibility, balance. Aaron spent years choreographing his golf swing. I hit it pretty far. I putt decently well and really good with uh, distance control with irons and wedges. From a 2012 CIF NorCal championship to a two-time Big Sky Player of the Year at Sacramento State, followed by several pro mini tours. But in 2019, Aaron's first golf partner lost his battle with leukemia. I just found myself angry all the time whenever I was playing just because I couldn't, I didn't have somebody to talk to about, you know, how things were going. So when the opportunity came and I called the head coach at Sac State, I said, hey, you know, can I come help? And help he did as the Hornets won their fourth Big Sky Golf Championship last April. It just brought back so much joy because I could instantly make an impact. And I found myself saying the exact same things my dad would always tell me. Memories of his father fine-tuning his rhythm on the links. I'm definitely looking forward to being out there and just kind of looking up and saying, man, look at this, we, you know, we finally got here, so let's you know, have fun and make the most of it. In Elk Grove, Michelle Dapper. Come on. KCRA 3 News.